Hey everybody out there, Chris here, and welcome back to another comic book review. In the spirits of Xenoscope Appreciation Week, I will be continuing along with Grim Fairy Tales Animated One-Shot. You can find this book on xenoscope.com backslash shop. This is one of the three months and older book. You can get this for a dollar right now until the end of May. This was basically to promote the animated series that they are trying to put currently on TV. And guys, I not only back up the animated series, I saw the trailer for it already. It looks awesome, and I think any channel, I would say HBO should take uh, Grim Fairy Tales. That'd be perfect. You can have the cursing, you can have anything you need for the series on there. I remember that um, Spawn, actually, I believe, was on HBO, if I'm not mistaken, late night animated. Anyway, besides the point, this book was to promote the animated um, series that they were going to try, that they are continually trying to push. And in this issue, you get introduced to Celia Mathers, and you also get introduced to the ancestors, I believe, of Hansel and Gretel. And um, ironically, they are the students of Celia Mathers, and she actually um, catches them. They were at this kind of like, let's call it a party. And Celia actually takes them home, but she has this magical book that actually is the Grim Fairy Tales. So she teaches them about Hansel and Gretel. And for the rest of the story, basically, you get the story of Hansel and Gretel. And the artwork is pretty good. I want to actually find a, a good page for... I think this was a good page. The page I was looking at before was pretty good. Here's some artwork from the flashback. And then if you go all the way to the end... After the story, you get, um, really, that's about it. After the, the kids read the stories, uh, all um, Gina wants to do is go home, and basically that's it. That's basically just the beginning of the book. The rest of the book is character designs. Um, there's a lot of character designs. I don't want to show the whole book off, but there's character designs. There's background designs, such as these. And then you get some stills or... Um, the storyboard for the trailer, for the animated trailer. You get some pictures from the animated trailer. And basically that's it. Is it worth the money for this issue? Of course. Especially if you want to support the animated series uh, into getting an animated series on TV. I would definitely recommend it. As far as a comic book though, I would say this is more of an advertisement for the animated series than an actual comic book. Do you need it? No, but... If you are a huge supporter of Xenoscope and you would like to support the animated series, I would definitely say check it out, especially if the animated series ever does make it finally onto TV. Uh, this is this will be a little companion or your little beginning or intro into uh, that world. So all in all, I would say it's a good four uh, out of five stars. I take a star away just because it's uh, basically to promote the animated movie. Uh, it doesn't follow through on any of the story arcs that are going on in the main universe. It's basically a glorified advertisement, but it's really good. It's done really awesome, and especially with the character designs and everything else that they throw into the end of the book, well worth the money. And like I said, right now, with the sale going on at Xenoscope.com, you can get this book for a dollar if it hasn't already sold out. I would definitely say to try it out. I especially like the artwork in this book. And with that, that's it for this review, guys. Don't forget to check out Comic Related, Comic Frontline, and Zone4Podcast.com. Together, we're your number one source for comic related news, reviews, and a whole bunch more. Also, don't forget to check out Xenoscope Entertainment at xenoscope.com. They have a shop, they have a blogger, or they have a blog, they have a news, they have Twitter, they have a ton of things on xenoscope.com. Uh, to keep you guys up to date with what's going on with them. And like I said, check out the shop. There's some really nice sales going on. We're going to have some other stuff that we're reviewing throughout the week, myself and Michael. Look forward to other older and newer comics. There are new comics coming out this week. There's a fair amount of new comics coming out actually this week. So uh, there's, it's, a good, it's a good thing that we actually decided to do this bonus week. And also there's a major announcement, which probably, hopefully, we'll have for you by tomorrow night during the live show. But it will get its own little video uh, to promote it also in case you guys miss out on the live show. So until then, guys, take care, keep reading, keep collecting, and I will see you guys in the next video.